My substance was not hid from thee, when I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. Psalm 139, verses 15 and 16. So some of you may have heard within the last couple weeks about Senate Bill 669 from Maryland, which reads, A person may bring a cause of action for damages if the person was subject to unlawful arrest or criminal investigation for a violation of this section as a result of terminating or attempting to terminate the person's own pregnancy, experiencing a miscarriage, stillbirth, or perinatal death. And that is the most important part here. If you were not aware, because I had to look it up myself, perinatal means of relating to or being the period around childbirth, especially the five months before and one month after birth. Occurring during the period around birth, five months before and one month after. We already knew that abortion in the womb was legal, but now they're trying to make it so that... As far as I can personally gather from the wording of this bill, apparently they want women to be able to legally retaliate if they are investigated due to the death of their child up to one month after birth. And of course, they also wanted to make sure that people remembered that you can legally abort your own fetus at any time and during the pregnancy due to genetic defect like autism or down syndrome or serious deformity or abnormality so you know special needs people you know inclusivity and tolerance and all that isn't necessary when it's not convenient for you thank god though that the aclj which is the american center for law and justice got involved with this situation and they stated on their website as of march 14 2022 Thanks to our legal advocacy and to friends at Maryland Right to Life who directly shared the legal analysis we prepared with the sponsor of the bill, Senator Smith has now pulled SB 669 from being considered by the State Senate Committee. This is the man, William C. Smith Jr., by the way, who was the sponsor of the bill. And also, we can't celebrate too quickly because there is now a House Bill 626 that is pretty much the same type of thing that they're still trying to get through. And one of the parts that really irks me the most about both of these bills is that they have the audacity to say, nothing in this section shall be construed to confer personhood or any rights on the fetus. I guess so much for founding father Thomas Jefferson, who said all men are created equal and have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And this is pretty much what made me decide that it was time to come out with this new merchandise line that I've had in my head for a little while now, actually, uh, featuring yours truly with my pretty much full-term pregnancy belly, coupled with the phrase, we the people, to infer that, yes, pre-born children are, in fact, people, because to my knowledge of science and how the world works, you can't really start out as a non-human, non-person, and then come out of the womb as a person. That just doesn't really work in my head. 
There are a lot of different colors of the two different types of t-shirts to check out, and you'll find everything linked in the description on the second page of the website. Thank you so much in advance for your support. But yes, Maryland House Bill 626, called the Pregnant Persons Freedom Act of 2022, which says all of the same things that Senate Bill 669 said, as you saw a little while ago, was apparently introduced on January 31st, 2022. And there was a hearing on it on March 11th of 2022. And according to the Maryland General Assembly website, both the Senate and the House are currently adjourned until what will be tomorrow, March 24th. So yeah, this is all crazy and evil, so let's just finish off by saying these are all of the sponsors of this bill. And I would encourage other Christians watching to pray for either the salvation of these people or for the swift judgment of God against them because only God knows if they have already rejected him completely in their hearts. So, you know, just pray for God's will for these people. And as we saw with the ACLJ, pushback and protest can help sometimes, so that is also another thing to consider. Thanks for watching and God bless. Thank you again so much for being here today. Since you liked the video enough to make it all the way to the end, don't forget to click the thumbs up and share with somebody else who would also enjoy it. Leave your comments below and we'll all have a conversation. And if you really enjoyed it, check out the link in the description.